Welcome lads, we're back for another video. Today we are looking at 77 rated Musonda. He's got 88 pace with 65 shooting, 70 passing, 83 dribbling and 47 physical. 5 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot, medium defensive work rate and high attacking work rate. This guy is a machine, but he's not as good as I thought he was going to be due to the fact that his shooting is so low. I just could not score with him, but his overall play, creating chances, he's all there. He's got the skill moves, he's got the dribbling, he's got the pace. He isn't the strongest, 47 physical, the strength is low, but apart from that, besides the shooting, this guy is a stellar card for under 3,000 coins on both consoles. But now, let's move on to some in-game stats. Looking at his skill stats, he does have really good ball control at 84, with 84 dribbling, 68 finishing, 69 shot power, 73 short passing, 71 long passing, and 62 long shots. The finishing there is just is too low to dominate, really. He's just going to miss so many chances. Now, when we look at his physical stats, he does not have the best attacking positioning at 67, 89 acceleration, 92 agility, 46 strength 87 sprint speed i didn't really care about the strength i knew it was going to be low but that wasn't the issue my issue with him was his finishing it just was not good enough and yes maybe changing his chemistry style so his finishing went up shooting moreover would create a better card but i was just not impressed with it but overall very good card definitely worth the coins you can't really go wrong with this guy but now let's move on to some highlights as we can see here he picks the ball up and he just goes inside and i just love that spin move that spin move just destroys teams he just can't deal with it and his finishing was bad yes it was very inconsistent but the fact is he's a very good player to have on your team because he's always got something in his locker that he's able to do he's always able to sprint and do the skill moves and dribble by people I was just a little uh, nitpicky in a lot of ways with his finishing, I felt. I felt that, yeah, if it was better, he would be unstoppable and he would be the most overpowered player maybe in the history of FIFA to be this low rated. It was just insane how good every other aspect of his play was besides his finishing, even though he does score a great goal there. Because you're always going to be able to score a great goal or two as he makes two people just run into each other and he just bends it really inconsistent i'd play a game or two and he'd be scoring goals left right and center and then he would just have chance after chance that he just could not finish but i love playing with a player that has five star skills and if you like that aspect of him he's amazing because not only does he have the five star skills he's got the pace so he's pretty unplayable out on the wings and if you have a good striker in the middle that can finish regularly you're going to score amazing amount of goals you're going to win games because if counter-attacking is king, this guy is one of the best at it. Look at him here. He's just going by his man. He gets fouled. And I score the most absurd penalty coming up any second. Now, I can't take a penalty. It's just not possible. But when it goes in like that, I mean, I just could not believe that went in. I was impressed with this card. There's a lot of cards out there that you're just not impressed with. I was impressed with him. I just had a few little issues with him. But overall, great card. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.